Kung Fu practitioner is a master of his or her emotions. And I first learned this when I used to watch the Kung Fu series when I was a kid. I'd watch it on reruns, of course, and I have the whole box set now, all three seasons. In the first pilot episode, David Carradine uh, reveals himself to the laborers on the railroad as a Shaolin monk. And they make the comment that a Shaolin monk is at one with himself. And I think that that should be one of your goals as a martial artist, whether it's Kung Fu, Krav Maga, Aikido, whatever you study, is become one with yourself, be comfortable in your own skin, and learn about what you need and who you are. Just like on a plane, they tell you to put your oxygen mask on first and then the child's mask, and you want to first master who you are before you can go and try to help others. And so one way we can do this superficially in the short run is with breathing. So this is one thing we can do to either amp ourselves up or calm ourselves down. So I'll show you a few tricks right now how I can amp myself up for an aggressive kung fu form with just the breathing. So if I was going to do Eagle Claw style Kung Fu, I would begin with my aggressive breathing, full, abrupt, acute, and powerful breaths. It would amp me up and give me an animalistic style of aggressiveness that I can use to improve my strength. So if you need strength, if you need endurance, if you need to increase your physical abilities, that's the kind of breathing you want to do. Feeling like you're gathering the animal within and letting it out. Next, I may want to be more calm. I might, golfers might use a beta blocker, but I don't want to use that stuff. Even musicians sometimes, violinists and such, use beta blockers to calm themselves down. I want to use breathing. So if I was going to practice something more calm and I was out of breath a little bit, stressed, flustered, my whole life is going too busy, too rapid. Digital, 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 digital screens, TVs, phones, uh, email, email, email. Uh. Slow breathing. Deep breathing. At least a 10 second inhale. And second exhale. Walking gracefully, slowing everything down at least half speed. For me, one of my keys is the breathing, and I also tend to talk too fast most of the time. So when I want to calm down, what I've learned about myself is I, I also want to slow my speaking down, almost like a Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry style of speaking. Nice and slow.
gotta slow it down. So now I'm pretty calm. What these two skills will give you is the ability to have confidence that despite whatever the world throws at you, whatever people throw at you, whatever the earth throws at you, whatever tests you will be given, you will have the ability to first of all recognize the situation and then adjust yourself accordingly. And you might do this in ways such as the breathing. If I'm going to need to get into a very calm, submissive state, I slow my speaking down. I slow my breathing down. I slow my walking down. And my mind will follow slow and submissively. If I gotta amp it up, the breathing gets up. My heart turns into a ball of flame. And I go for it. <laughs>